In 2019, I spent close to two weeks inside Herat's women prison in northwest of Afghanistan, getting to know some of the 119 inmates. These brave women had seen no other way out of abuse and domestic violence but to kill their husbands. While their past lives were harrowing, their current lives were peaceful, happy, and free. Despite the overcrowding cells, many inmates felt freer in prison than they had in their marriages. The 15-foot wall that surrounds the prison and the barbed wire that encircles the walls give the compound a cage-like feeling, but the barriers were meant to keep intruders from getting in as much as they were intended to keep inmates from getting out. However, on August 13, two short days before Taliban's takeover of Afghanistan, a group of Taliban fighters opened the gates of Herod Prison releasing all the inmates with no question asked. For these women, the release wasn't liberating. The freedom they had experienced in jail is now taken away and replaced with more restrictions, fear, and uncertainty. Today, millions of Afghan women have been put away in this larger prison called Afghanistan. This is the consequence of an irresponsible withdrawal. I am incredibly humbled to have received the Robert Kappel Gold Medal for this story. I would like to acknowledge the invaluable work of my colleague, Hamid Safarazi, who secured my access to the prison. Hamid was forced to flee Afghanistan with his family after the fall, but he has now reached safety. I would also like to thank my editor, Amy Kerner, who has always been supportive and had my back, especially in the darkest days after the fall. Thank you.